Vasinipril, also known as Zestril, is a medication commonly prescribed for high blood pressure and heart failure. Today we'll be answering the most frequent questions about this medication. My name is Dr. Hart Pinto at JHP Medical. We make weekly information videos. If you like what you see here, why not subscribe and share this channel with your friends and family? What is lisinopril? Lisinopril is a medication available on prescription from your doctor. Lisinopril belongs to a group of medications called ACE inhibitors. These medications work by widening blood vessels, reducing stress on the heart, and making it easier to pump blood around your body. Lisinopril is frequently used to treat high blood pressure and heart failure. Individuals are prescribed this drug following heart attacks and strokes. Also. Evidence suggests that for those who suffer heart attacks, lisinopril can increase your life expectancy. It does this by helping prevent further heart attacks or strokes. Is there anyone who should not take lisinopril? It's best to speak with your doctor before taking this medication if you have any of the following conditions. You have had a previous allergic reaction to lisinopril or other ACE inhibitors. You suffer from low blood pressure. You have a history of kidney disease or are receiving dialysis. You have liver disease or blood disorders. You are taking a low salt diet or you are receiving desensitization treatment to reduce your allergy to insect stings. Furthermore, diabetic patients should monitor their blood sugars more closely in the first few weeks of treatment. Lisinopril is known to lower your blood sugar levels, which may increase your risk of hypos. Is lisinopril safe to take in pregnancy and breastfeeding? Lisinopril is not safe for use in pregnancy. This medication can harm your baby by causing long-term damage to their kidneys and lungs. Therefore, if you're sexually active, you must use effective contraception. If you're planning to get pregnant, discuss this with your doctor early. If you've found out you're pregnant, please speak with your doctor as soon as possible to seek a suitable alternative. Unfortunately, we don't know how much of this drug is present in mum's milk during breastfeeding. However, it's likely to only be a small amount. Breastfeeding mums should speak to their doctor for a safer alternative. Is it safe to take lisinopril with my current medications? Lisinopril may interact with several medications, affecting how lisinopril works. Your prescribing doctor will need to be aware if you're taking any of the following. Medications help to use manage blood pressure, for example, aliskirin. Diuretic medications, those which make you pee more, for example, furosemide. Medications that can increase the amount of potassium in your blood, such as spironolactone, lasartan or valsartan, potassium supplements, and certain birth control pills. Specialist heart medications, such as sacubitril, drugs that weaken the immune system, such as azathioprine, everolimus, and cyrolimus, diabetic medications, gout medications, including allopurinol, lithium, a mood stabilizer, and the antidiarrheal medication, racecodotrol. This list is not exhaustive. For more information, seek the drug information leaflet that comes with your medication. What is the correct dose of lisinopril? Lisinopril comes in a wide variety of strengths, and this will vary significantly depending on its indication. Typical starting doses range between 2.5 to 10 milligrams, raising to a maximum of 80 milligrams per day. How long will I need to take my medication? Most individuals prescribed lisinopril will continue taking this medication lifelong. Those taking lisinopril to control high blood pressure will see a rise in their blood pressure should they stop taking this medication. Keeping blood pressures well controlled over the long term will help reduce your risk of heart attacks and strokes. How long does it take for lisinopril to work? Lisinopril will get to work soon after you start your medication. Many individuals will not have experienced any symptoms before starting this medication, for example those with high blood pressure. Therefore you may not feel any different whilst taking this medication. If you are taking this medication to help manage symptoms of heart failure, it may take several weeks to feel the full benefit. How should I take lisinopril? Lisinopril for the majority will be taken as a once daily dosing. Aim to take this medication around the same time every day. This Lisinopril may be taken with or without food, but please ensure you have it with a large glass of water. Are there any foods I should avoid? It's best to avoid any salt substitutes such as low salt. Salt substitutes may contain higher levels of the salt of potassium. Taking salt substitutes along your lisinopril may cause an increase in the blood potassium levels. In rare circumstances, this can be life-threatening. Can I drink alcohol with this medication? For many, drinking alcohol alongside lisinopril isn't a problem. For others, they may experience dizziness. This is because alcohol in combination with lisinopril can lower your blood pressure lower than intended. If you are someone that experiences dizziness with this medication, it's best to avoid alcohol. I've missed my dose, what should I do? If you forget to take your lisinopril on time, don't worry. Take it as soon as you remember. However, if you only remember the following day, skip the missed dose. Remember to take your next dose at the regular time. Do not double dose to make up for a missed one. I've accidentally taken too much medication. Lisinopril can be dangerous if you take too much and you should seek emergency medical advice. Symptoms of overdose include dizziness, lightheadedness, palpitations, and sleepiness. Are there any side effects? Many people will not experience any side effects with their lisinopril. 
However, as with all medications, side effects can occur. Some individuals may experience dizziness when taking their first dose. To reduce this, you can take your first dose in the evening. These side effects should improve as your body becomes accustomed to the new medication. Common side effects you should discuss with your doctor are a dry and persistent cough, persistent feeling of dizziness or lightheadedness, nausea, vomiting or diarrhea, headaches or blurring of your vision. Less commonly, people experience more concerning side effects. If you experienced any of the following, please consult with your doctor urgently. A change in the color of your skin, yellowing of your eyes, lightening of your poo, or darkening of your wee may indicate that lisinopril is having a detrimental effect on your liver. Severe tummy pain may indicate inflammation of your pancreas. The development of swelling in your ankles, difficulty going for a wee, or the presence of blood in your urine may indicate serious kidney problems. The development of bruising, unusual bleeding, feeling tired, having a sore throat or a fever may indicate the presence of a blood disorder. Muscle weakness, slow irregular heartbeats or fainting may be a sign that the blood potassium level is becoming too high. Allergic reactions are concerning as they may be life-threatening. Fortunately, life-threatening allergic reactions are rare. Those with serious allergic reactions should call emergency services for assistance. Symptoms of a severe allergic reaction can include swelling of the face, lips, mouth and throat, difficulty breathing, wheezing or chest tightness, and an allergic skin reaction. Of course, this list is not exhaustive. For a full list of side effects, refer to the drug information leaflet that comes with your medication. I hope this video has supplied the answers you were looking for. Of course, this video does not provide individual medical advice and is intended for information purposes only. Do not consider this as a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis or treatment. Please do not ignore professional medical advice and seeking treatment because of something you've heard here. If you believe you may have a medical emergency, immediately call your doctor or ambulance service. Thank you for watching. See you next time.